Hi Table Tennis Junkies, I'm going to be showing you the fast reverse pendulum serve today with backspin. This is one of my very favorite serves because it wins me a ton of points and I'm really excited to be showing it to you, so let's get into it. Sort of similar to the pendulum serve where the index finger is going to come up and the other three fingers will come off. Um, but I actually moved the, the index finger up even higher on this serve that will allow me to have more wrist action during the serve. Okay, so the stance on this one will be very similar to the pendulum serve and the other reverse pendulum serves where the left leg is going to be in front. My body is kind of facing perpendicular away from the table this way and I'll be really close to the table. The stroke on this one is pretty simple in theory, but it's actually very difficult to make good contact with the ball. It's kind of a mix of finesse and, and kind of blunt force hitting the ball. What makes the serve difficult is generating both the speed and the backspin on the ball. I'll start with the backspin, and you can do backspin in one of two ways, or you can kind of combine the two. Um, the first way is to come underneath the ball, hitting the southern hemisphere of the ball, just like this. The other way to generate backspin is to hit down the back of the ball. So if you're hitting the back of the ball, it's very common for players to kind of go forward and through the ball this way. You don't want to do that because you're, you won't generate any backspin with it. If you want to generate backspin, you need the ball to spin in this direction. So if you're coming down the, ball, the back of the ball, you'll still get the ball to spin in that same way, but you have to be grabbing the ball with your rubber in order to do it. If you're just kind of hitting flat, you're not going to generate any backspin. You have to actually grab the ball. You can combine the two by kind of coming underneath the ball and down the back of the ball. That's what I like to do on the serve. If you're only going underneath the ball, you'll get good backspin, but it's very difficult to get very good uh, forward energy on the ball, so the ball isn't going to move very quickly where if you're going down the back of the ball, it's easier to generate that forward energy on the ball. Generally, I would recommend hitting more towards the south pole of the ball if I'm doing something short, and more at the back of the ball if I'm trying to do something fast. The stroke on the serve is gonna have wrist and forearm movement with a lot of wrist. You can see as I swing back on this, the, the handle is gonna be on top. I don't like to do it underneath. It's kind of hard to get like hitting down the back of the ball if I'm underneath. So I recommend having the, the handle on top of my wrist. For the stroke, I'm really just kind of hitting down and, and forward on the ball like this. I, I am a little bit underneath the ball, but it's mostly just kind of flicking the wrist forward and, and down like this. I'll demonstrate the serve here, but what I want you to watch for is the wrist motion, the backswing, and the angle of my racket. When I do the serve, I'm generally trying to land the ball pretty close to my end line. This will help generate a little bit more speed on the ball, and I'm usually aiming cross court into my opponent's backhand. Most of my serves are going to be short, and the side spin on the reverse pendulum serve is going to be best done down, uh, down the line into my opponent's forehand. So a good opponent will probably shift over to protect that forehand, which will open up the backhand. So when I'm doing the fast serve, I'm trying to catch my opponent off guard and the backhand will be a little bit more open and it'll be more effective there if I can surprise him with it. Okay, so how do I prepare for the next shot after doing this serve? Well, this serve has a lot of speed on it and a lot of spin on it. So I'm definitely looking for something a little more passive or defensive for my opponent. 
This is one of those rare fast serves where I actually like to stay close to the table instead of backing up and rallying. So if my opponent um, does something more defensive, like a push, I'm gonna try to come in and loop that ball. And if they do, if they do loop my serve, then it's probably gonna land short or be a little bit slower than normal. So I'm gonna try to come in and I'll stick the block and then take advantage of the point that way. In case you haven't noticed from my videos, I'm a very aggressive player. I like to loop serves. I like to take advantage of the point by sticking the blocks, uh, by, by counterattacking. Um, anytime that I can loop the ball, I like to do that. If you aren't a super aggressive player, that's okay. Just change your, your tactics a little bit. So instead of, if, if your opponent loops a serve and you don't wanna, you don't wanna counterattack it or stick the block, that's fine. Just play uh, in a way that fits your style. So let's say if you're a blocker, you might want to still stick the block but position it a little bit so maybe maybe not stick it as hard. If you're a, a chopper or a defensive player, you can, you can chop that ball right away. You don't have to necessarily stick the block or counterattack or do anything like that. Um, I'm just trying to teach how I would return the serve so you can kind of get a reference of, of what I would do. Okay, so how would I return the serve if someone did it to me? Well, I actually don't really see the serve very often and I especially don't see it done well. But if someone were to do this serve to me, I would watch for that speed and for that backspin. Because the serve is coming long and because of my aggressive style, I'm definitely going to be trying to attack the serve. But I want to watch for that speed and that spin. So. Because the ball is coming fast at me, I will want to shorten my stroke because um, if the ball is coming fast, I don't want to have a big long stroke because uh, it's going to be hard to find good contact with my rubber in the, in the ball. Um, also because it has that energy, I don't really need to add more energy, I just want to kind of use that energy that the ball already has on it to uh, kind of rebound. Uh, I don't need to swing hard to, to get a lot of energy on it. And actually because it has the backspin, I don't really want to add too much energy to it anyways because if I try to, if I try to force through the ball, the ball's going to go in the net. So because it has a backspin on it, I'm going to want to lift it and I'm going to probably try to place it a little bit better on the serve return um, and add extra spin and add extra arc. The ball is going to be tough to return, so I don't want to, I don't, again, I don't want to drive through the ball. So I'll probably add that extra spin and then look to drive the next ball. Okay, so just to wrap things up, you're gonna to wanna to use a lot of wrist on this serve. To generate backspin, you're gonna to need to have friction between the rubber and the ball. And you can generate backspin by either hitting underneath the ball or, or hitting down the back of the ball. But if you're hitting down the back of the ball, make sure that you're actually grabbing it and not just hitting it flat. If you hit it flat, you're not gonna generate any backspin. Another thing is you're gonna to wanna to swing hard on this. So if you swing soft and slow, you're not gonna generate any speed. So the harder you swing, the more potential you'll have for generating really good speed with this serve. And the last thing is if you're learning this serve and um, you're whiffing the ball a lot, that's okay, don't worry about it. It's a tough serve to learn and I actually think that if you're just starting it, um, that making good contact with the ball is one of the toughest parts. So if you're whiffing it, don't let it bother you. Just keep trying and keep trying to go for that good contact. That's all for this week's video. If you have any questions or serve tutorial requests, put those in the comments and I'll try to make a video for it. If you like this video and you found it helpful for your game, then please subscribe to my channel and give it a like. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you next week. I'll demonstrate the serve here, but what I want you to watch for is the wrist motion, the backswing, and the angle of my racket.